Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. The true kings to Draco um, R-Type is getting more support. Three new cards in uh, Maximum Crisis. Two of them are in the main deck. The, the third one is a trap card, um, which isn't all too great. Its most important effect is that it reduces the opponent's attack if you like tribute uh, a true king uh, or to Draco a monster or a card. But uh, um, I, I, I don't like it too much. Uh, the, the other two are, I think, much better, especially the spell card. It's also a continuous spell, and once per turn, during your own turn, you can target uh, three true Draco or true King cards, so also the spells, uh, for example, or the traps, uh, send them, uh, take them from your grave and send them back to the deck to draw one uh, card. So this is pretty much a themed Pot of Everest and that's something they definitely needed. And then the last new card is like a big boss monster, level 8 masterpiece, a true Draco Slaying Knight. It's pretty much the same as Metatron, which is not in the deck in favor of this card. This card, um, the Dread Draco Slaying King, is like an Infernity uh, Break. Uh, banish one uh, true king uh, spell or trap. Um, from your graveyard to target one other card on the field and destroy it. So it's okay. Uh, Metatron is not uh, in the main deck. It could be in the main deck over this card. Both of them seems a bit too much since uh, Breaking is definitely one of this deck's uh, biggest enemies and also one of the reasons why I'm not playing too many traps, too many spells uh, as, as well since you need, um, let's say, if you open the duel, you only have five cards. So if, if you don't have the field spell, you have to work with um, yeah three cards since you know tributing the other two cards etc to special summon one big uh, true king uh, monster but uh, the extra deck here with the uh, naturia exterio etc they are special summonable by the metatron which is not the main deck but uh, feel free to uh, add metatron in the main deck the extra deck isn't really too important bar of course your rank 9 exceeds so let's see a few example tools Alright, uh, first game the opponent is playing with Dark Magicians, and I believe he gets to start, so that's a good start. If they start with like Raw to start out Circle and, you know, set a few back row, that's good to go. But he doesn't get anything off the Circle, so that's good news. And immediately special summon the Earth, a guide to get a search off of the Wind, I believe, and the draw with Vortex Trooper, if not mistaken. Um, anyway, most important thing is I get to beat sticks on board, deal some nice damage. This is Succession, it's, it's just a one-off in the deck, not really a huge fan of Succession. Succession is like uh, the super rejuvenation but much weaker. Uh, so get one draw off of it and go for that, uh, that yeah, the, the Bled, the Enter Blethir, or I believe the name is, apologies if I mispronounce it, but most importantly, uh, I was able to get rid of his, um, yeah, his spell, his continuous spell, the Dark Magic Circle, and now I can just uh, finish off the game, blow away that, uh, yeah, that Eternal Soul, so his monster will be destroyed, and now I can just attack for game. Uh, second game of the better duels I've had with this deck. Vortex Troopers, an excellent deck in the deck here. Normal summon uh, it to yeah, send two uh, cards from your hand back to the deck and draw two new extra cards. But uh, yeah, Vortex Trooper on its own is also a wind type monster. And of course, when it's tributed either by the field spell or one of your true uh, Draco monsters, you can draw one card. So it's like a. Um, like a semi draw engine the deck um, needs. Um, that's, that's an excellent start by the opponent. He does activate his uh, Kaiju uh, Slumber, so my Wind True King monster will trigger the trap card. Keeps me in the duel. He probably used it just to OTK, right? If they happen to open with Slumber, they can easily, well, yeah. Zodiac Beast slash Kaiju that they can easily OTK uh, with a Slumber, 1-1 one, one Slumber it is. But um, yeah, thanks to Trap I was able to survive. So special summon the Earth Guy and uh, yeah, discard of yeah, distribute the Earth Guy from my hand, reborn the fire to King Monster and try to attack over his monsters. Then use the Pot of Everest Disciples, uh, send back three cards to draw one uh, card. Also could have used the Trap card to reborn something, but that didn't really seem too optimal here since again, if you use a trap card uh, after that you cannot special summon any more monsters so no exceed for example um, anyway, again, he tries to go for the OTK, there is the Trancia again, the Viper, so this is, it. Yeah, this is indeed, or this should indeed be enough uh, to attack for a game. So it's not looking too great, but again, Trap Card keeps me in the duel, he does have two back row, which one of those, no, I see is a dimensional barrier, but from now on, not really sure if there was any point, he could have used it as, as well now, um, get the Water Draco Fighter on my side of the field. 
uh, you know that when your opponent activates a card effect you can surge the trap card but I only play two and both of them are out of the deck if I'm not mistaken so I survive with 200 life points I have to top deck top deck into vortex trooper and I can special summon the water guy but after that what can I do so I take my chance to normal summon vortex trooper get two new draws and wow I draw the field spell and eventually I know to end with this board the goal for the exceed that rank 9 big ass threat he does have the dimensional barrier but I'm not really sure if he should have used it probably not and now I'm in full control of the duel and on top of it I drew draw into the emptiness so that's very very nice um, there is the ditch <laughs> yeah that's probably one of the reasons why rarely any zodiac deck in the OCG is playing the, the tiger yeah the captain the captain bear bearman that's indeed the name um, anyway, the, the, the second copy of the, at least the third copy of the field spell is in my hand. Try to use it to pop, finally, pop that true, uh, yeah, Draco monster from my hand to get, well, yeah, not get a minus, right? To search the pot of Everest, use the pot of Everest, set back three cards to draw one card. Doesn't really matter which one, tribute both of them. The tribute summon that, uh, yeah, master yeah, masterpiece, the Draco slaying king, and you know, use uh, that continuous spells effect it's like a mystical space typhoon and then use uh, the king's effect it's it's yeah pretty much infinity uh, break effect banish one card at least banish one continuous true king uh, card either a spell or a trap and pop one card from the opponent so very good definitely very good game but uh, i feel that he should have won that one but anyway he tried to go for the otk twice but it was a trap card that kept me alive in the duel so last game uh, I have no clue <laughs> what the opponent is playing. It's like um, the BES with Zodiac Beasts with Desires. With... Um, <laughs> it's like everything dot deck. And yeah, the, the Kaijus as well. But uh, he has like a plus 6 or plus 7 over me again. He uh, yeah pops one of my uh, cards. Not really sure what. I do have the Eternal Winterfall in my uh, spell and trap card zone. You know, uh, search one Worm type monster from your uh, deck and editor your hand. Or yeah, tribute to draw an equal amount of cards plus 1. Night Beam is an excellent choice in the deck to hit that Dimensional Barrier. Since Dimensional Barrier is a huge threat for this deck. But again, as you know, you, can, you cannot chain the targeted card directly to Night beam but that's why he used Drancia and then chained his dimensional barrier but Magma Dragon reborns something from the grave and I believe yeah again my plan here is to um, establish again my grave to make my pot of Everest life and again also have a follow up play next turn with my um, yeah my two water Draco at least yeah true king monsters in my hand so have that uh, yeah, what's it called? That the Draco fighter on my side of the field, the water guy. So you know, if your if your opponent if the opponent activates any card effect, I can surge the trap. So again, um, making sure that I have follow up plays. But he has another Kaiju, so no uh, searching. But here, no back row, and uh, eventually we'll see no hand trap. So I can go for game, but he's going to scoop before that. So I get doesn't really matter which card I draw here. It's one of the spells, and yeah, indeed he scoops since he knows what's coming. He knows what's in my hand, so I'm going to use the field. Spell. That was the plan. Use the field spell, special of the magma dragon from my deck reborn something and eventually i can search out my uh yeah my my king you know the infinity break and get it on board by tributing or by sacrificing my phase up spells and then pop the field spell you know uh with the with the, the continuous spells and with the, the king monster to pop his Monster. Okay, um, this is currently my decklist. Feel free to leave suggestions. Um, Nightbeam is still in the testings, but Dimensional Barrier is so great against this deck. Um, the Pot of Ever is definitely staple in this deck, but I'm not really sure about that, uh, that level 8 uh, King Monster. But again, feel free to leave feedback. Okay, guys, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave some signing out. Peace.